Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Mr. Sonic Suchuri. In this video, I have come up with set of MCQ practice questions with solutions for you on environment and society. For those who aspire for net set and other competitive exams. So friends, the question is, when is the World Environment Day observed? Options are 24th October, 5th June, 16th April, and 2nd June. The option is 5th June. That is correct for this question. Next, what is the UN theme for World Environment Day 2020? Option A, beat plastic pollution. B, beat air pollution. C, green economy. And D, celebrate biodiversity. And the option D is the correct option, that is, celebrate biodiversity. Which country ranks first in broad and orchid species diversity? Option A, Australia, B, Canada, C, Colombia, and D, Brazil. The correct option is C, Colombia. It is the country which ranks first in bird and orchid species diversity. Next, in which year did India host the World Environment Day? And option given are 2013, 2016, 2018 and 2019. And it was in the year 2018, that is the option C, when India hosted the World Environment Day. Which state of India has the largest forest cover? Options are Madhya Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Sikkim and Punjab. Answer is option A, Madhya Pradesh. Next, when was the Environment Protection Act enacted in India? Options are 1949, 2001, 1986 and 1884. The option that is correct is C, 1986. Next, what is the name of the documentary written by Al Gore, former US Vice President on global warming? Options are Before the Flood, An Inconvenient Truth, Option C, Man on Wire, and D, Chasing Coral. The correct option is B, an inconvenient truth. An inconvenient truth is the name of the documentary written by Al Gore, former US Vice President on Global Warming. Who authored the book Silent Spring dealing with the dangers of indiscriminate use of pesticides? Options are Rachel Carson, B. Stephen Hawking, C. J.K. Rowling, and the Sudha Murthy. The correct option is A, that is Rachel Carson. She is the author of the book Silent Spring. Next, when is the World Biodiversity Day? Option that are provided are 19th August, 24th July, 22nd May, and 10th October. It is on 22nd May, that is option C. On this day, the World Diversity Day is observed. Who introduced the concept of biodiversity hotspot? The options are Norman Myers, option B, Aldo Leopold, option C, Edward Abbey, and option D, David Brower. Correct option is A, that is Norman Myers. He is the one who introduced the concept of biodiversity hotspot. What is the full form of COD? And the options that has been given are call of dispersion, chemical oxygen demand, chemistry of diversity, and chemically operated Jordan. And the correct option is B, chemical oxygen demand next when is world ocean day 
option a 23rd march option b 22nd may option c 17 september and d 8 june so it is 8 june that is the option d on this day world ocean day is celebrated what is the art and science of managing forest options are horticulture floriculture silviculture and viticulture the correct option is c silviculture so silviculture is the art and science of managing forest next what is the name of international agreement committing parties to freezing out ozone depleting substances and phasing down hydrofluorocarbon the options are Montreal Protocol, Alpine Convention, Bonn Agreement, and Basel Convention. The correct option is A, that is Montreal Protocol. Next, which gas is called laughing gas, which is a cause of global warming? Options are oxygen, B, nitrous oxide, C, hydrogen, and D, helium. The correct option is B, nitrous oxide. And this gas is called laughing gas, which is a cause of global warming. Next, which is the climate change treaty aimed at the reduction of global greenhouse gas emission in 1997? Options, Kyoto Protocol. Option B, China-Australia Migratory Board Agreement. Option C, ESPO Convention. And option D, Minamata Convention on Mercury. The correct option is A, that is Kyoto Protocol. And this is the Treaty on Climate Change, which aims at reduction of greenhouse gas emission in 1997. Who is the propagator of the Chipko movement? Option A, Vandana Shiva. B, Bill McKibben. C, Chico Mendes and D. Sundarlal Bahoguna. And the correct option is Sundarlal Bahoguna. Who wrote The Origin of Species, which brought to light the close relationship between habitats and species? Options are A. Gary Sander, B. Robton, C. Charles Darwin, and D. Arthur Tansley. And the correct option is C. Charles Darwin. Darwin wrote The Origin of Species. Next, who founded the Green Belt Movement in Africa? Option A. Wangari Mathai. Option B. George Monbiot. Option C. Lawrence Biol. And option D. Jonah Mackey. The correct option is A. Wangari Mathai. Next, who is considered the founder of Earth Day? A. Aldo Leopold B. Senator Gellord Nelson C. E. O. Wilson and D. Murray Bokichin The correct option is B. Senator Gellord Nelson Senator Gellord Nelson is considered the founder of Earth Day. Next, which is the most abundant gas in the atmosphere? Option, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide, nitrogen. Correct option is D, nitrogen. Which device is used to measure the salinity of the soil? The option that has been given are potentiometer, conductivity meter, galvanometer and ammeter. The correct option is B, conductivity meter. And this is the device which is used to measure the salinity of the soil. Which Indian environmentalist was awarded Padma Sri in 2019 for planting and nurturing trees? Options are Sunita Narin, Salumarada Timaka, 
Anadis Paul and Rajendra Singh. The correct option is B. Salumarada Dimakka. Which Tiger Reserve received the Indian Biodiversity Award in 2016 in Mumbai? Option A. Pocket Tiger Reserve. Option B. Bandipur Tiger Reserve. C. Corvet Tiger Reserve. And D. Pinch Tiger Reserve. And the correct option is Pocky Tiger Reserve. That is option A. We have come up with the last question for today's MCQ. That is, which is the saltiest lake in the world? The options are A. Owen Lake. B. Mono Lake. C. Lake Urmia. And D. Don John Pond. The correct option is option D. Don John Pond. So friends, for those who would like to learn more, watch my other videos and for more info and updates related to current questions and MCQs, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.